Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 168 pounds. Awesome! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Bruce the Dragon. Lee! Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. as we go in the world. Few can hold up. Oh! Oh, what a punch. Oh! Oh, look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. Man! Beautiful movement. Hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. up again here, but hurt oh. Nice kick there by Lee. Ooh. Whoa! Oh! All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if you're gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out of space, find places to rest and recover. 
get against the octagon, go to the clinch, find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has to be big kick lands. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at the force behind that leg. He lands a big elbow there. Oh! Big elbow there. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Back to the feet. Visibly limping here. Oh, huge block! Big elbow there, Lance. Nice hook. Knee to the body. Oh, straight right. but barely, look how well oh, he is. Oh. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Round two winding down. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool, cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, round two. Nice punch by Lee. Careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. And this might just be a matter of time. Side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh! Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue to him. He's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's got to flip his hip into that kick. Just a good 
gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Uh, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has gone to stop for this contest. At four minutes, 17 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.